Yeah. What about after that? Because uh, at the time, the aftermath, it was Penny Haynes, superstar, won the Olympic gold. It looked like life was perfect. And yet I know the reality was in the aftermath of that, life was actually quite a lot more challenging. Yeah, it was confusing. Um, I don't think anybody knew what to do with me because we hadn't had a gold medalist, much less double, you know, since I think 44 years. And um, what, what struck me is how amazing it was when I came home, both myself and Josiah Tagwani as the gold medalists, and of course, Marion Creel and Ezekiel Sepeng, silver and bronze. Uh, the reception we had from South Africa, and I mean as a, the rainbow nation, and obviously this is coming off of the World Championships with the World Cup Rugby, so emotions were high and the support was just amazing. I'd left South Africa to go to the States in 92, end of 92, so I didn't know coming home would it be a case of a little bit of a racial divide with the white South Africans be happy for me and the African South Africans happy for Josiah, you know, but it wasn't that at all. It was just amazing and that's what made it special. But then I'm in South Africa, everyone knows who I am. I get on a plane, I fly to America, no one knows who I am. And I'm in the middle there, don't, I don't know who I am, I don't know why I should continue swimming. My coach says to me, why are you going to continue swimming? You've done everything, you should retire. Then he leaves, he goes to Canada, and I decide to stay back in Nebraska and swim on my own. So it was a roller coaster. For two years, it was a downward spiral. And then, of course, it brought me to a point where I hated swimming. This was about the third time in my career I wanted to retire. And, but I was prayerful about it, eventually moved to Canada and then probably had the, the greatest season of my career a year after that. So, you know, there's always those dips. <laughs> you never get away from that, but the dips are the most valuable moments, I think, in anyone's career, if you have the right perspective. Tonight.